Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Defo Bad Gaming back at you with another video. Aha, uh -huh, let's get it. Ah, uh, so boom. First things first, I want to say, man, thank y'all so much for having me a party all day. I really am so grateful and appreciative of this. This episode, this this series, man, is such an experience. This might be the, I mean, granted, my gaming channel is very early so far, but this is probably the best game I've ever played on this channel. Like, I'm talking about as far as the attention to detail that this game has, bro. Like, the, the attention to detail, the way that it uh, properly describes this game, its character development, how you can really get close to these folks, like, and how you can really just explore this world, bro. This is really just making me more anticipated for GTA 6. Like, if GTA 6 is going to be like this, but like modern, where it's like, you know, I don't have to worry about, like, I don't have to do horseback riding. And, you know, I, I can just fly my jet. I fly a little helicopter. I can drive around. Bruh. Yo, they can take as long as they need to, bro. Like, GTA, yo, GTA 6, Rockstar, bruh. If y'all, if your team is watching this to try to get like more tips and more pointers on what to do, bro, yo, please, bro, take the time, take all the time y'all need, bro. Because if y'all been watching the reports, GTA Six is like, then they spent like a, they so far spent like a billion dollars on the game, but let's get it. Damn, looking out over yonder, looking out over yonder on life, living this life as a lone ranger in this world. I got tuberculosis. Alright, let's get it. Alright, bro, so. Huh. So, what didn't happen, bro? We saved John. We saved John uh, from the clutches of death. So, now we finna pull up on somebody. Okay, I guess we'll pull up on Reverend Swanson. Alright, so we're gonna pull out Reverend Swanson and I think Yeah, might might another one? Oh, must be shenanigans. Still the wagon with those is. Alright, so yeah, let's get it. Do I got ammo? My fault for the yawning game. I didn't take my nap yet. I'm on bullets. Oh, I need a clean zone. Alright, alright. Alright. I had to make sure I make sure how I am on bullets. Like, cause those pistols be going quick, dog. All right, oh, they got some stew. Let me get some stew right quick, bro. Let me get some stew right quick. Hold on, gang. Oh, yeah, Molly O'Shea, Duchess girl, got got. Got her stomach caved in. That was that was something. You're okay. Hey Arthur. Sure. Where's Tilly Jackson at? Is she scraped? No. I'm scared, Miss Grimshaw. Feels like Oh there she goes. Oh, I ain't never normally scared, but feels like now it's only a matter of time. It'll be okay, miss. You sure? Mm. No. But I'm sure you'll be okay. And I'm also sure that, well, I'm sure that I'm really proud of you. You've grown into a fine woman. You'll be well. I just know it. Where are you still ten toes? I ain't got my coffee, got my little drink. Yeah, bro. All right. Now right, pull up on Reverend Swanson. <coughs> Reverend, <coughs> you okay, Mr. Morgan? I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times. 
for all of us. Yes, very challenging. You don't seem yourself, somehow. I, I've always felt... I've left the morphine, sir. Arthur, I'm Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. Dang, bro. New York. We are going to go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're going to get a boat. We're going to get on a river, and we're going to go north. New York. Then Bruh. Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea, dancing girls, freedom. But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of commotion. And then we disappear. We need more commotion. Bruh. One score and one whole hell of a lot of noise. We ain't so good at doing scores anymore, Dutch. Right. Are you feeling all right, Arthur? Sure, I'm fine. Pardon me for interrupting. I brought a friend, Arthur. Hello. Hello. Hey, that's uh, Eagle Flies. This is Eagle Flies. His father is a great chief. Charles and I, we um, pretended to be mercenaries. Did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderlyn. How do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father has confused wisdom with weakness. His people, my people, we've suffered too much, been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. You men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? You know I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. Yeah, Arthur, we must go with them. To try to stop things from getting out of hand. We're out of here. Yes. Come along. Uh, we can get the more horses. I right. Know. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping them up into a frenzy. We got enough folks Thank coming you. after us without adding an army. Going to let this? these bastards walk all over you? No. You're Take this hat off, bro. This is all that's wrong with this world. Okay, young man, lead the way. The horses Damn, are on a boat near Van Horn. I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Surely this can be done without killing anyone. Of course. What will be, will be. Anyway, son, tell me about this Colonel Favors. He's a vile man. He and his regiment take pleasure in persecuting us. All the young have been taken from our reservation, shipped off to reform schools. Many women, too. The old are weak and sick, but they deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. This ends today. You have my word on that. Why are you getting involved in this, Dutch? Thank you. You know me. We shoot fellers as need shooting. We save fellers as need saving. Feed them as need feeding. Not this again. It's been quite a while since we helped anyone but ourselves, and even you know that. I told you, noise. We need noise, Arthur. Noise and faith. I still don't know what that means. Right. Stop questioning and think. Just think for a second. The Pinkertons have had time to reinforce. The civilized world is closing on us. Who knows what else Molly told them? We need to move towards a conclusion now. Sure, but what's this got to do with any of that? Some good, honest conflict between the army and the Indians might be just the distraction we need. Kill two birds with one stone. Cornwall was funding the Pinkertons' assault on us. Why do you think I dealt with them? With Cornwall gone, the government is far more likely to divert them to other issues. 
Especially if there's one more scandal. And then we can slip away. Like I said, we just um, need uh, that noise and one more score. You know, I went back for the chest I had hidden outside Shady Bell, and we're close, Arthur. That dynamite, the railroad contract with the army, it was all in those papers Micah found. I have a plan. You just have to trust me. All right. This trust word. I think of that rainbow. Hold on, bro. There's Peta. Hey, oh. These men, like I said, they'll help us. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Come on, let's go. Dang, I should have got a. Uh, I should have got my bow and arrow. Dang. Why well, I got a rope? Man, this is a bull. We need to get that boat ashore. I think the best plan is to paddle up there silently, order. Then when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor, float away. <laughs> we'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened. You always say that. Not the shotgun in the hand. Try not to kill anyone, Arthur. Oh. Oh, <laughs> you said you had a knife out too. Right now, bro. All right, are you on? Come on, Arthur. I am busy. I have the horses under control. You go up front. Yeah. You think I have the first idea how this anchor works? Just blow it up, then. Hurry. Oh, oh dumb. You seem to be going pretty fast, Dutch. I'm trying. Slow down. Bruh. What is wrong with 
you! The boys all right back there? Yeah, I think so. But there's a huge hole in the boat. Horses are spooked, and we're taking on water. The boys, get them out of here! Well, whatever else is wrong with you, you're quite the best pilot I've ever come across. The horses are confused. We need to round them up. I'll get these four, Arthur. Can you go after the others? Okay. Come on. Got me the horses, bruh. Now I'm gonna study him. See what you know what I'm saying. He must admit to himself that he is no longer. Will one of you help me return the horses to my men? Well, Arthur. Will... Oh, Arthur needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. And after the horses, are we going to wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't wise. Stop worrying. Oh, and Sadie told me about Cone. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out at Fort Wallace, and when Cone's dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. I don't know, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. Your father need not know anything. He'd rather live... In ignorance. Come along, gentlemen. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Speak with Rangeful. Yes. Would you? Uh, what should I do, gang? Help Rangeful. Don't help Rangeful. He a grown man. All right. Just because the game. Just because the game told me what to do. Bro. You head on back to camp, check on the others, Dutch's behavior. It's... I understand. Thank you, Arthur. God, hey! What the heck? What's going on, bro? Hold on, bro. Okay, so Sadie. Who is this? Who's oh that's the uh Okay. Oh yeah 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 I did say I did that. Okay. Then rains fall. Oh my god, all the way in San Diego, bro. Mmm. Alright. Oh yeah, I did say I say them. Follow up with another helper and ball skate. I did say I would do that. I'm gonna do that, bro. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the following. We're gonna do Micah. Then we're gonna do Sadie. And then we're gonna do Penelope. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Oh! Every time, bro. Get up. Get up. All right, boy. Yep. Go. 
Ah, a maca. That was hard. Ah, there he is. Old Black Lung Morgan. Shut up. Was you followed? Excuse me? Was you followed? Do you know who you're talking to? I ain't sure. I ain't sure about much no more. All I know is there's law whenever you're around. Is that so? Mm. Because it seems to me that since you've been riding with us, there ain't been nothing but trouble. Stirring things up all the time, getting in Dutch's ear. Seems wherever you is, there's Pinkertons and vice versa. So you better watch your goddamn mouth, boy! <laughs> or... <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, cowboy. You're gonna do yourself a mischief, way your head. Micah, shut it! He started it! <sighs> Up, Dutch bro. says we is to go on with plans to create a diversion. We got to get some explosives to blow up the bridge. Keep the army out of here a few days. I think it's a real bad idea. I don't think Dutch cares too much what you think. That's clear. We got to confuse him one last time. Then he and I will head to Blackwater, collect the money, and help everyone leave. He's got a boat lined up. Blackwater's a fool's errand. Everyone knows it. Even a greedy moron like you. It's Dutch's choice, Arthur. You're just a senior gun, same as the rest of us. Only you ain't well. I'm fine! Then you'll do Dutch's bidding, which is robbing a stage that's coming from Annisburg full of explosives. Rob a stage? All we seem to ever do is rob a stage, you and me. Not me, you two. I got my own planning to do. You boys got this. Shit! Guess we have. Come on, Arthur. And Cowpoke, take it easy. You could do with a vacation, hmm? <coughs> All right, let's go. Ooh, I hope they gave me the chance to put two right in your dome piece, bro. says we should jump it as soon as it comes through Van Horn. So you're taking orders from him now? I'm taking orders from Dutch. Same as always. <sighs> A pair of them will become an unhinged. You hear about Dutch killing Cornwall? Hey, hold up a second. Pinker uh... over there. Okay, I think we're clear. Let's head off. So, you were saying? Well, that needed to be done. Right now? With the Pinkertons breathing down our necks? See, I'm starting to think that you've gone soft, Morgan. Thinking I got soft. Now I'll put two in your dome right now, Bill. Easy. Okay. Let's hold up here. So, the wagon will be coming from that way, down from Annisburg. And it'll take the two of us to stop it completely, or it'll never get done. So, I was thinking, you go play dead, Take my horse. take care of him. <laughs> no, I'm the better shot, and you, you're the better actor. No, you play dead, and I'll cover you. I got that. <coughs> I got that. Oh, that's them coming now, I think. It'll be quite the show. Uh, oh. Ooh. What? 
Oh my god. Give me that. Give me that. Hook it out. There we go. Uh huh? There we go. There we go. Mm -hmm. Can't run. I want this gun. Ooh, a Carcano rifle, though. I want this gun. What are you doing? Get off! Look at that, Lancaster. My pump. Oh, so I'm gonna get the. I'm gonna use the bow. I'm bringing out the bow. I'm gonna bring out the bow and easy. Get on here, quick! Back right, home, home. All right, let's see if we can get this back to camp without I can't listen to my old. Nice shooting back there. Nice drunk playing. Comes naturally. Hmm. I can eat and drink after that. Ah, uh, no. It just never goes easy no more, does it? Uh oh. What you mean? What you mean? Huh? 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 Shoot them on here before they blow us to hide! I know, I know, I know. I'm mad that I can't use my... Uh... Ooh. Okay, stop. Okay. There we go. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I'm alright, Arthur. Oh god. Damn it! You need to take him out, Arthur! I'm doing the best I can. Oh, Right. They're aiming for the dynamite. Duh. Okay. I don't see any more. All right. Oh, oh that was close. Don't reckon I'm cut out to be a dynamite wagon driver. <laughs> Killing a bunch of folks so we can rob some dynamite, blow up a bridge. Does this make any sense to you? It's a distraction. So it ain't meant to make sense. But it should to us. It's our plan. You know, I've had it with the moment. Look, there's Mike up ahead. Great. Whoa! So, you got it? We got it. Yes, we got it. What's wrong, Arthur? Nothing at all, boss. John, go drive this over to Bacchus Bridge. Get a hidden near there. He really does think Bill, he's in charge. You go on ahead. I need to speak with Arthur. Good work, son. What's going on? Listen. I know we ain't always seen eye to eye, and uh, mm -hmm. you find me irritating and a threat, and I like to annoy you. But right now, I need better from you, Arthur. Okay, Micah. Whatever you say. I ain't the bad guy you think I am, Arthur. But I am a survivor. Stick with me and you'll live. Oh, the bridge is probably a two-man job. You should probably go help Marston. Why don't you? Like I said, Dutch and I got planning to do for the train. There's a big picture here, Arthur. Trust me. Man, I can trust you about as far as I can throw you. Where my horse at, bro? Oh, Alright. And then what's next? Sadie Adler. Ah! 
God dang, bro. What you told him? Drop me off here, dog. All right. Um. Yeah, I guess we kind of make a little circle situation. And work our way up. Huh. <sighs> Let's ride. Now come on. All right, let's keep. So now I've got to go, about to go to Sadie Adler, see what's going on with her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, so I don't even trust Micah, man. Yo, Micah and Destin, like, they up to something. And why is it that they've been kind of talking bad about John and... They were talking bad about John, and I've been kind of falling out of judges in uh, Micah's good graces, so why they both want us near the explosives? Dang, dead or alive, what'd I do? What'd I do to them? Want a dead or alive. There we go. Keep going. Watch this. On, you pair of cream pies. Do you want this rally to happen or not? Damn. Why does this always happen to me? <laughs> I just can't wait. Have some respect. Just leave me be. Well, shit. Guess they got what was coming. Just like you, pal. Don't you? And what you got? Nothing good either. That's crazy. What a nice little camp. Okay. We gotta go. We can't be here too long. Since I'm wanted dead or alive, apparently. My fault, bro. My fault. My fault. My fault, grab Okay, boy. Let's go. Yeah. Alright, you riding now, baby. There we go. Yeah, he finally made it, bro. How am I wanted dead or alive? Oh yeah, I was about to say what did I do here. Yeah, I definitely robbed the whole thing. Never mind. 
It makes sense. Never mind. I ain't messing with San Denis, bro. They be everywhere, dog. I think the inside here, I think. Hold on, bro. Let me make sure, bro. Mm-hmm. I just gotta make sure because I don't got time, dog. There you are. Here I am. Come on, let's go. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Colm O'Driscoll. That's uh, so. Rather they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are gonna hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why... Despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves. In this? In this. Man, I gotta change clothes. Bruh. Oh, I don't mean officers of the law. Okay. Come on. Well, don't we just look the part? We'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. We keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say, being a fancy woman of San Denis shoots you. I dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch swing. Colm hung me up, nearly butchered me. That don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy Kieran. We've all lost something because of Colm. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Now keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you going to keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours? I miss the old Arthur. Don't we all? You two quit it. They all got a job to do. We're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it. As far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. Look here. Don't the public love an execution? Yeah, that's crazy. They child. I'm about to watch them hang. Hey. All right, good. Now, you see that pair of assholes? Sure. They're Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? I don't know. We gotta follow them and find out. Yeah. Oh, here comes somebody. <clears throat> Stay here. Don't do nothing. Go brush that horse, officer. Yes, sir. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. Y'all say about to break yes, them out. They did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey, hey. You know I wasn't going to let it come to that. I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. 
here and now, Como Driscoll's going to get his due. He's cutting in there. Let's go. Quiet. All right. What's it look like? A bunch of cops. Well, how many? Enough. So what do you think? Tall's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah. I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Let's get to it. Yeah. So... They got a guy up on the roof, overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there, onto one of these verandas, through a building maybe, and get him. And do it silently. Well, Damn, maybe I should have got my vote. Do it silently. I want to see this bastard swing. I'm gonna go up this way. I'm fine now, but I don't need you. Bonjour, monsieur. Find a way up to the roof and stop him. I'll go back to Mrs. Adler. I know, bro. Excuse me, ma'am. Parlez-vous français? Gallows, gallows. Which way was he? Okay, I'll go this way. Alright. Well, what we got here? Okay. us from barbary yet justice itself can at times be barbaric for sometimes a man is so savage the only way to deal with him justly is by oh, that's a do colm o'driscoll is one such man he has murdered, tortured, robbed, stolen, raped, and abused for a decade Sheesh. across five states, seemingly with impunity. Today, justice catches up with him. <laughs> As well you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges This is not a court! Where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out, and your sentence, Colmo Driscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. This is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task mm. we enjoy, but it is a task we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. How did I not see him? Are we ready? Oh, he really scared. Call Modrisco. May God, in his infinite wisdom, are oh, he really scared? Upon your soul. Yeah. Whenever you are ready. Put that man in the dirt. Woo! Woo! Now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life! What am I doing? What am I doing? Morgan, you hear us? Take a shot on these old Driscolls. Oh, God. Oh, 
Uh-huh. There we go. I got him. Ooh. Uh-huh. I don't know who I'm looking at, bro. Uh-huh. Let's go. Oh. Uh-huh. Nah. Oh, I wanted that so bad. Well, we got him. Let's just get out of here. Go. Mm. You see how fast I grew that beard? That's crazy. How you get on, Arthur? Well, we saw the bastard hang okay, but the whole thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess compared to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Ain't no snatch. Don't you snatch that black queen. My dear Arthur, you never showed up. And now, after looking at the newspapers, I understand why. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter, but I nonetheless must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams. I miss you, and I will always miss you. But I cannot live like that. And it Damn, seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense. But when we are apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I'm so sorry. For everything. For everything long ago and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur. But he is wrestling with a giant. And the giant wins time and again. You've broken my heart again. And I fear I have broken yours. And for that... I will never forgive myself, but you must let me go now. I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago Damn. when we were both young. Not because I don't like it, but because I care for it far too much, and it reminds me too much of you. I hope one day you will find some people in love who can use this, for it kept me thinking of you all these years. And I hope by returning it to you, I can finally be free. Goodbye, Mary. Dang. So we're supposed to hang out? Oh. We're supposed to hang out? Hold on, bro. I'm Googling it. Hold on. Mr. Morgan, you don't look very well. Uh, I'm not, Reverend. <laughs> I fear I'm pretty sick. I'm so sorry. You seem well, on the other hand. Yes, sir. I've stopped all that silly business. I think I'm okay. Well, that's wonderful news. <laughs> How? I don't know. 
I met a Catholic lady, a nun, and we prayed, and it was lifted. The curse was lifted. Good. Oh, uh, okay. I can't believe it. Really, I can't. All those years I wasted. I'm trying to think, bro. Hold on. I'm reading it right now. I don't know Saw that. Arthur later received to close to the games for me. Okay, hold on. Alright, uh, okay, see. The letters, uh, she says her goodbye to him and that it was time to let go. So he never cut his promise to show up after the supposed final robbery. She acknowledges that Arthur is unlucky to ever leave life, so he hooks a ring. Uh. Susan? Someone smashed the box. What box? What box? The money box. We'd had that for so many years. Why did they smash it? Well, I don't know. Look at this place. All divided. Everyone anxious and at each other's throats. Dang, someone took the money box. I'm heartbroken. Yeah, me too. Me too. Dang, somebody took the money box, bruh. See? I knew someone was fishing with that money box. Alright. So what's this? Eagle flies. Okay. Okay. Oh, so... Is Rain's fall his dad? I don't know, bro. Okay, Arthur. All right, so now we're gonna speak to Rain's fall. I guess to try to convince him not to go fight in the military or fight the army. But it looks like they already made a decision. Mary really, Mary really did that, bro. I went to, the, I took it to the movies. Please, please, I can't Ooh. do my leg anymore. You have to get the strap off me, please. No, oh, like that hurt, dog. I ain't gonna lie. I can feel it getting loose. Oh god. Oh, I look like that hurt, bro. Oh, you did it. Oh, oh. I uh I gotta get some scrap or, or something here. Oh. Oh Mr. Yuke. I thought I was gonna be Oh god! Oh, I thought I was gonna be a gone. That leg gone. Oh, you you can take whatever you want from my pack. Even me. Oh. Here, this will help with the pain at least. Oh, oh, yeah. yes. That's it, right? Yes. Oh. 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 Why? Are we out? Yeah. Yeah. Ah. All right. So now, I guess we're gonna talk to Rain's fall. Try to convince him, his son or him, not to do nothing stupid.
Yeah, that girl was childish, bro. You wanna leave me? That's all I did for you? Ain't where you stay at, bro. I should not have accepted this, bro. Where does man stay? Oh, all right. This looks like something. I didn't want to fall. Did you stay? Like, I don't got no music, no Spotify, nothing, no Apple Music, bro. Like, what? the reservation. Well, can I at least run? Mm -hmm. Why? Wow, I don't see right now, bro. Man, they wild. They, vi they, yo, they violate, bro. This is it. This is your reservation. Oh, they wildin'. Yo, like not. Come in. They about to get. <laughs> you don't sound very well. I'm not. I'm, I think I'm dying. And I hope you find peace. I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Did you have fun with my son, the impetuous prince? I believe you went on a raid with him. <sighs> um, uh, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. <laughs> Colonel Favors. He has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Um, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. 
Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right, but for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Look at the details of that beer. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <coughs> and maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! Hmm. I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection and healing. Yeah. Hey, yo. What is this news, Captain Monroe? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in Saint Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. No. Sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. I'm sorry to be forward, but there's so much to be done. Anyway, gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. We'll continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. Ah. Uh -huh. Teach my son. Yeah. Go on, get out of here. Good. There was no need to harm them. Hey, easy, boy. Easy. Oh, I. Yeah. What's up, Zero? Talk if you want, Mr. Morgan. But don't feel like you have to. It's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. How much you know about Dutch? A little. Mostly what Charles told me. For years. He was the best man I knew. But... He's been unraveling for some time now and... I guess I'm gonna keep going up, bro. I ain't sure there's any going back at this point. 
So why do you stay? Well, I'd have been dead by 18 if it wasn't for him. He never gave up on me. It ain't something that's easy to walk away from. And he's got all my money. It sounds like you have a lot to work out in your own mind. I don't know why he's getting involved with Eagle Flies, but the two of them together, it's gonna be a problem. It already is. So what are you suggesting we do? The two of them were headed for... Sorry, uh, hold up a moment. That'll have to wait. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here. All right. I guess I can set up home here. Boy! This is what I was looking for. English mace. Okay. Let's continue on. So back to what you were saying. The two of them were headed for Fort Wallace when I last saw them. I'll head over there. See if I can keep things from boiling over. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. You got no reason to thank me yet. Arthur son. You know, I had a son once, years ago. Don't talk about him much. No, oh, what was his name? Isaac. His mother. Eliza was a waitress I met. When she got pregnant, she, she knew who I was, what my life was. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but I said I'd do right by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. She was too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid, 19. What happened? I got there one day and... Saw two crosses outside. Damn. Right away. Turned out some bastards had come through. Robbed them. And shot them dead. And offered $10. It hardened me. Feeling that kind of pain again. Wait, stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. We can talk more about this later. I'm just about to tell my my feelings, bro. This will combine well. Wait there. I'll put these in your saddlebag. A lot. Strength up. Right now? All right, let's go. It's not much further now. Anyway, what you were talking about? It hardened me. Feeling that kind of pain, I guess. I had to. I don't know. I ain't been a good man. Oof. At least you understand something of your anger. I understand that you can't be a bad man and expect good things to happen to you. How about that? I appreciate that? the herbs, but I think it's gonna take more than that. I saw a doctor and he says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. It's all right. Oh wow, look at this. Look at that plane. Out. If I get enough money together, I can always head out west to one of those sanatoriums in California. I still got some options. Well, I wish you all the best. And that's it. Oh. Uh...
All right, well, I guess that's it. Okay. So now where we going? It's just up ahead. What's happened? No. It can't be. What? They destroyed everything. No, I need to find the Chinupa. Who, who would do this? I'm Someone confused. who wanted to enrage you. Help me look around, please. The Chinupa is gone. What does Chinupa look like? What is it? A uh, ceremonial pipe. There must be some clues to what happened here. There's some whiskey here. Oh, oh, horse track. Whiskey. <laughs> Bastards are having a party up here. An empty bottle of whiskey. Well, if they drank all that, they couldn't have gotten too far. Yeah, well, uh, still no sign of the Chinupa. Uh, there's some logs here they must have used as kindling. Well, come on, dog. Look there. Smoke. Yeah, moonshine. Quick, Mr. Morgan. There's someone down there. Do you have any binoculars? Yeah. Oh, there they are. These brave men. Some of Colonel Favor's men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But... But I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. Mm. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. Now they've taken the last hope. Oh, yeah, they finna. Oh, he wants smoke. He wants smoke. Now my people are gonna want a war. A war they can't win. Oh, damn. Not if I get it back. Get it back? Yeah, I'm gonna go in, get your chin up, and no one will be any the wiser. Come on, boy. How do I craft?
Oh. Am I core low? I think because I'm cold. Dang, bro. Hold on. You are sick. While sick, you will only get it. Wow. Right, bro, hold on, bro. Mm hmm. There go. Well, I'm here. Huh? Oh. Hell, fire! We got to track down this man. going loud dog maybe not y'all see me try first right Dang it. We got an intruder. There we go. Over here. I tried, bro. Huh? It's for my man and them. Let's go. Nope. You don't get to run. I try, bro. I try being all stealthy, bro.
right. Got your things, I think. Yes. Thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? Yes. It's a bad business. I should not have let you do this for me. But perhaps it will stop a bigger massacre. With these... Maybe I can calm my people. Maybe I can calm my son. I hope so. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. All right, but I'm gonna take him, dog. I got you, bro. He's a man who, not so long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. I would love to help him, or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. Do I gotta make like a, I gotta make like a camp, right? Hold right, on, let me set up a camp right quick, y'all. You're all right, boy. Okay then. How I do it? How I set up a camp? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Dang. Improved arrows. Yeah, oh, really? I like I had ease. Keep crafting them so I can't craft no more. Wow. That could have been a better way to do this, bro.
Well, right, I got the music playing. That's how long it's taking. Yeah, that's all I got, bro. I think. There it is. Camp, I think. Let me turn it down. All right, now let me try this. So what the heck? Like what? Get a gun. Oh, I went back. I pressed back. My bad. All right, let's get it, and then we're gonna do this. There we go. I right, we're going to end it right there. Man, I want to say thank y'all so much. Make sure y'all like and subscribe for the boy. All right, you're...